In a previous video, I programmed Arduino to display stopwatch on I squared C based LCD. In this video, ATTiny85 microcontroller is programmed in C to display stopwatch with ticking sound. A microcontroller is interfaced to the LCD via the I squared C adapter which is based on the IC PCF8574 which is an 8-bit I.O. expander. In a future video I'll be programming this IC in order to interface parallel devices to the microcontroller using the I squared C connection. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the I squared C LCD interfaced with the ATtiny85 microcontroller through the I squared C lines. And we have two push buttons, one connected to pins PB3 and the other to PB4. This button is used to start or stop the stopwatch, while this button is used to capture the lap time. And we also have a buzzer connected to pin PB1, which will give us the ticking sound. And now for a quick demonstration, we press the start stop button to begin the stopwatch. We press the lap button to capture the lap time. We can press the lap button multiple times to capture multiple values of time. And then we press the start stop button again to stop the stopwatch. A quick look at the C sketch. We'll be using this library, which uses the tiny wire library to program the I squared C based LCD. The code presented here was explained in detail in my previous video. A link to that video will be given in the video description. So the code has been reused here with slight modification to match the library for the I squared C. LCD. One thing to point out regarding the I squared C LCD library is that when using the print function to display text or values on the LCD, we can only display one byte at a time. So for example, if I wanted to display the word end, I have to send each letter individually. Another thing to point out regarding the sketch is that the ATtiny85 does not support the tone function of the Arduino. So here I had to create a function that will simulate the ticking sound. And here inside the function ATtiny85 tone we are using two for loops to give us the simulated sound of the ticking clock. In a future video I'll be interfacing real-time clock DS1307 with the ATtiny85 microcontroller and program the real-time clock using the TinyWire library. Thank you for watching.